guys, so we're heading to Tucson right now to hit up another trail. I'll give more details on the trail when I actually get there so you can see it as I'm talking about it, but yeah, we're gonna head over there. The weather should be pretty good today. Um, I'm not gonna take any of my repelling stuff today just because I'm trying to like scout out the area, see if it's if it's even decent for doing some repels or any climbing or anything like that. But the trails themselves look pretty nice and they look like they have a pretty good view of everything, so we'll check it out. Alright guys, so I'm, like, I'm at the uh, Black Itch Ridge Trail right now, and it's pretty nice so far. They have a really big parking lot because there's a, a bunch of trails that branch off from it. But yeah, it starts off pretty uh, flat. There's uh, actual restrooms you can use and whatnot. And then it quickly goes onto a paved road. Yeah, but I can already pretty much tell there's not going to be a whole lot of uh, shade. So there's that. That's something to consider for sure. Bring sunscreen. So definitely bring plenty, plenty of water and sunscreen for sure. Because at least down in the beginning, there's not a whole lot of shade. And as you guys can see, there's a uh, cacti all over the place. So, I mean, it looks pretty cool. Especially if you're not uh, used to seeing cacti all over the place. So something that's kind of annoying is this trail is pretty popular. So there's a lot of people walking on it and it's not exactly wide enough to fit two people abreast. So one person always has to get to the side. And I've been, I'm about a mile in. I've had to do it like 10 times already. So it's nice, you get to say hi to people, but if you're trying to just do a hike, it might get annoying. Okay, so I think I have about less than a mile um, to the turnaround point. The trail itself is only about six miles, so it's not too bad. And what's nice with this trail is it's rocky, but it's not like big loose rocks. It's kind of like you're walking on big slabs, so you're not like twisting your ankle constantly. And you don't have to really climb too much as far as like the angle. It stays pretty pretty mellow for the entire time. But yeah, I'm chilling right now. And I'll just show you guys the view from right here. But it's pretty cool. Um, the shade gets a little bit better as you get up. Just because of the slope and the, uh, like the cacti and everything creating shade. But yeah, it's definitely a little better. It's a little breezier up here too. But yeah, I'll show you guys the view, the view from right here, and then we'll uh, then we'll push on. But you can see the trail; it kind of just like serpentines it the, the whole way up, which is uh, pretty standard when it when it comes to a steep steep trails like this but like I said it's, it's not too rocky you can see it's pretty smooth and then a lot of times you're walking on like slabs like that so you're not like destroying your ankles but you can sort of see the parking lot from here it's right over there so yeah it gets it gets pretty busy but but yeah I'm not seeing as many people right now I think just because um, like I said, there's a bunch of trails, so some people probably just go on the other trails and you know, only if you really want to tackle this one too much, I'm sure. I'm sure you, you probably do it once and, and that's enough, but yeah, it's not too bad. And it's nice because like it's serpentines, like I said, and having to get out of the way of someone like that would be a little sketch, but yeah, I've only had to do it uh, twice so far. Alright 
guys, so we are at the peak right now. So you can see it kind of just comes up right over here. And here's the trail I came from. Yeah, I met a nice lady. She ended up giving me a banana. So that was nice. And yeah, I dropped off a little, uh, like a case with a notebook in it in case anyone wants to, to share any thoughts. And then eventually I'll come back and, and get it if it's still there. If not, then someone else can enjoy it. But yeah, I'll give you guys a little view. Um, I will definitely say that this trail is a workout. It was really rough. Like I kept thinking like the next peak was the top, but it wasn't. And that happened about four times. So it was kind of rough, but yeah, made it. And the view is pretty cool. Uh, pretty much there's a lot of civilization surrounding this mountain. So you got a lot of buildings in the background. And then there's also uh, this gorge that runs right next to the trail. So yeah, very challenging, but pretty cool. Uh, I would say definitely more of a, uh, an early morning or like a, a fall hike because uh, it got pretty hot. And there's not, there's not a whole lot of shade at the top either, but just consider that. Okay, so I'll say this, getting down is uh, pretty sketch. It's just, uh, Oh look, oh, there's a road runner. Let's see if I can get him. Oh, you see him? they can oh there's two of them might be near a nest or something so I'll keep going I don't, no I don't think they can fly doesn't look like they can but it's pretty cool huh hmm neat it's a little uh, tricky like when you're coming up everything like all of these would just be like steps you know it's natural but going down it's just really sketchy so you definitely have to watch your step or else uh, your ankles aren't gonna appreciate it too much you know so just something to consider it's not like loose rocks it's just you know it just gets a little sketchy coming up it's it's natural because it's kind of like steps but it doesn't feel like steps coming down so much. It kind of just feels like you're not trying to, to fall off the mountain, you know? <laughs> Especially like right here. Coming up, yeah, you're pretty much just climbing this, but you have slopes that you have to like slant your feet down. But then you also have steps at the same time. So definitely watch your step, bring some nice shoes or some nice hiking boots or else your ankles are gonna be very sore at the end all right so we're all done i'm in my car now which is like 120 degrees because i didn't put my sunshades up but yeah um overall it was definitely a rough trail it's not so much a scenic trail because if you go to like just enjoy the view can end up like really struggling because of how like physically demanding it actually is so it's a good um, it's a good workout trail for sure there weren't too many plants right now there wasn't any like water or anything like that so it wasn't super scenic except for when you get like towards the peak um, which is always a nice view but yeah uh, definitely definitely more of a workout kind of trail um, get some good footwear
it might be a little more enjoyable when you're with someone else. Um, especially when it's like, when you have demanding trails like that, they just tend to be more fun when there's someone else there, you know? <laughs> just the conversations you have, but... Yeah, that's about it for that trail, guys. So, um, I'm not sure the next trail I'm going to be doing. Uh, we'll see. I'm trying to do some more um, outdoorsy stuff. So not just hiking, but like, like kayaking water sports and other things so yeah just stay tuned for that again i won't be uh getting a whole lot of training videos uh out on the channel for a while so uh, yeah it's gonna be this so i appreciate you guys sticking around